Hello, so today we are going to look into DynamoDB local and perform different operation using Python. So we are going to insta install DynamoDB local on Windows operating system. So first step would be to install the latest PyCharm version. If you already have PyCharm installed on your operating system, then you can update the existing version. Second step is to install Porto 3 AWS CLI and Compose using Terminal in PyCharm. In step 3, we are going to download the DynamoDB local and extract it to the desired location. Then we are going to start the service and check the existing table using AWS CLI. And last step is to open the PyCharm and perform dif different operation using scripts uh, on the DynamoDB local. So I have already installed latest PyCharm version on my operating system. So next step would be to install the required packages to perform the operation. So as I have already installed Boto3 AWS CLI and the Compose, I might be able to see that requirement are already satisfied and not the actual installation process. So in your case, it might take some time to install these packages on your operating system. Next step would be to download DynamoDB local. So I will share the link into the description. So open the link and go to the download links and download the zip file. As I have already installed, uh, I have already downloaded the file uh, and extracted it, I will directly go to the location where I have extracted it and type CMD. Once this is open, I will again go to the AWS page, scroll down a little and copy the command which we are going to paste into the command prompt and execute it to start the service. So once this is done, we are going to open new PowerShell and go to the AWS page and check, copy paste the command to check the tables. So currently we don't have any tables. So let's open the PyCharm uh, and uh, try to perform different operation. So I have already created scripts to perform create table, display data, update, insert and delete to perform the delete operation. So I will share the link in the description for these scripts. So let's see and execute the scripts one by one. So create and insert. So this script will create a test table. So data is inserted into test table. So let's again execute the list tables command. So we are able to see that uh, table test is created. So if we want to see the table data, then uh, there is a script I have created. Display table data. So just uh, change the table name and execute it. So this is the table data. Uh, so this is these are the attributes. This is the actual data. So name, age, ID are the attributes uh, for which uh, we have some uh, value inserted into this table. So if we want to perform update operation, so let's create a student table as well. So there is a script student dot py. Uh, this will create a table uh, with these attributes. As you can see, and uh, there is an insert uh, data uh, for this table as well. So let's execute this. So it will create a student table as well as insert some records. So student table uh, is created and uh, some sample data, sample records uh, has been inserted. So if we go to the AWS CLI, then uh, we would be able to see that the test and students table, the both tables are created. So if we want to display, see the data of the student table, then 
let's uh, change the name and execute the script so it is s okay so we have students table created and it contains these records so let's perform insert operation so in a students uh, we are going to insert one record so let me quickly go and check uh, what is the record here so i will change this to say tom and id is 7 so I will execute the script and as we are able to see the Tom record has been inserted. Next is update. So go to the update.py. This is again, uh, it is a simple update by using which we are going to update a single record. So here uh, we are going to work on a single record. So we are going to change new name to say Tom Ram new. So what is the table name it is students and let's update it so update is successful let's uh, display the records so name of ram is changed to ram new so record has been updated so one more time let's uh, go to the update script and change back the record so for the student one name is going to be ram so let's again execute this once it is done, let's display the output of the tables. And this has been updated. Now let's, let's delete the single record. So this is the delete single record script. So we are going to remove the record of Tom. So let me quickly go back uh, to so record ID is equal to say seven. Let's execute it. So record of Tom has been deleted successfully. If we want to drop the table, uh, then we have drop table command as well. So just to give the table name here, execute it and let's go and see how many tables are there so test is deleted uh, students is deleted and test is there so let's uh, again go back to the drop table uh, command and uh, uh, give uh, drop the table test as well so please make sure that uh, you are writing the uh, table name uh, in the same way as you have created so t it is, it is case sensitive so t is capital e s t so let's perform the operation and table has been deleted successfully so if we list the table again there are no tables so once your work is done you can press ctrl c where we have executed the java command to start the service so as service is stopped and if we try to execute the command these tables it will throw some error and we won't be able to execute it so make sure when you restart your laptop or you are coming back for work 
you should start the service by using this command and then you should be able to uh, get the information related to the DynamoDB tables. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye.